Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Neil and it's time for another episode of QI. That's right, we're uh, checking out another subscriber recommendation. We're going to Series K this time and we're, we've got a kind of stacked cast by the looks of it today. This is uh, episode five called Kings and we've got Bill Bailey, maybe my favorite QI guest of all time. We've got Jimmy Carr, always a strong performer. And we've got Jeremy Clarkson. I don't, I mean, I certainly know who Jeremy is. I was a big fan of Top Gear uh, until things went sideways on that show. And I'm trying to remember if I've seen Clarkson on QI before. I don't think I have, but I may be misremembering. I just did an episode all about out memory here on here for QI so I'm thinking about memory and how unreliable it is nevertheless I ha certainly haven't seen this episode so I'm excited to jump into it I hope you are too so let's uh, let's get right into it this is episode 5 from series K Kings welcome to QI where tonight we're all kings for a day joining me at court are his majesty King James the sixth Jimmy Carr oh, okay his Majesty King William III, Bill Bailey. His Majesty King Jeremy, the only Jeremy Carter. <laughs> and King Alan Davis. <laughs> yeah, he gets the paper crown. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Here are some kings that I'm sure you're utterly aware of, uh, mm. but can you tell me how they got their nicknames? Crap name? These are all real kings and they're real nicknames. Louis the Unavoidable? Why don't we have that now anymore? Why isn't it Queen Elizabeth the German? No. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Of your crap. Yeah, it's, 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 look, it's done that. You oh. see, that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what they've put around uh, royal dogs to stop <laughs> nibbling their stitches. <laughs> has your head lost weight? Is it, it has, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I do apologise. Just... You're welcome to take it off. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger case. To... Ow. Oh, that's going to hurt. Bill, try and get it down He's the other right. way. Try and get it down <laughs> the other way. Yeah, try and go through it. I think this is... <laughs> Bill. <laughs> you look fine. So that's how we got Lord of the Rings now. I'm going to I'm going to put this as my passport photo. <laughs> <laughs> Constantine the Great, the first Constantine was. Is he Greek? Well, Turkish. He was like, a Roman emperor. Okay. But he moved the capital from Rome to mm. his new city, Constantinople. Constantinople yeah. and he became Christian. So his enemies claimed that when he was baptized. He was so nervous, he pooed in the baptismal font. <laughs> wow, we've all done that. Yeah. <laughs> we've all had nights out. Yeah. <laughs> Louis the Universal Spider. Uh, um, he was actually Louis the Eleventh of France. So what sort what? of century would Louis be? I'll give you ten points if you're within... 17th century. century. Oh, 15th, in 15th. fact. Oh. Trevor, Could he huh? climb up the water spout? No. <laughs> <laughs> they all had names. Friends of Philip the... Spaniard. Philip the Good. Good shows a lack of imagination, doesn't it? <laughs> Good's good though, isn't it? It's not. It's better than Dave the Satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what channel we're on now. <laughs> I think he was called Good, unfortunately, because he pursued so many crusades, which are not considered good these days. Went off to the Holy Lands and killed people. Um, We'd never do that today. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the next one is King Aistain the Fart. The Fart. So he yeah. farted once. No, the Fart is Norwegian. For Jordan. fourth, do you know what fart? Speedy. speedy, speedy, fast, exactly. Oh. Speedy, quick. Oh, ah. so it's just a, a typo. Really. Not the <laughs> <laughs> it was also but the first source we have in writing of ice skating. Yeah, that. Oh, ice skating. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but he was succeeded by his son, Half Dan the Mild. Half yeah. Dan. No. Oh. <laughs> That's Half a pretty mile, good. Dan. Is, I've never understood why they don't do that with warships. What, HMS Mild. <laughs> Instead of intrepid, HMS dreadful. weak. Yes. Vulnerable. The vulnerable. That'd be a good one. <laughs> HMS unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to King Ragnar. Why was he called? Hairy he Breaches. Called? Hairy Breaches. Oh, 
He's here being killed. And has he been killed? By his own trousers. <laughs> <laughs> he was thrown into a pit of poisonous snakes. Ooh, like... What, in Northumbria? <laughs> no, that would give you a bit of an itch. <laughs> <laughs> not it really may poisonous. be a made-up story. Ragnar was eventually avenged by his son, who was called Ivar the Boneless. Yeah. And he got his revenge on King Ella. <laughs> Superpower. <laughs> they yeah. one, didn't one of the Fantastic Four have that? Yeah. In Played Valiant him. comic, they used Reed to be Richards. Janus, and he could get through tiny gaps. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, he seemed to be in a situation... A Janal situation. It would, it would be really helpful if he could get through a tiny, <laughs> tiny gap. <laughs> Drain grids and that yeah. sort of thing. And avoiding the door that was open. <laughs> oh, no. Quite often he'd forgotten his keys. <laughs> <laughs> but he was avenged by having his ribs opened and his lungs spread out against his chest. And it was called the... B Say again? The Blood Eagle. The Blood Eagle, yes. Very good. Audience, ten points. Oh, was he... Uh, presumably, uh, yeah. uh, this person was... Uh, it was against his will. Yes, uh, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably. It wasn't just scour, then. I saw a, a documentary about heart surgery and to get through... The sternum. Yeah. They used a power saw. Oh, I know. It's I mean, horrible. it was quite yeah. hard to get in there. Yeah. Or a little toffee hammer, and it takes a lot longer. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a big hammer. No, but that, that's a crude <laughs> instrument, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's not a logging thing. <laughs> the chainsaw was invented for surgery. They actually go up through the penis. thigh. <laughs> well, not uh, the penis. <laughs> through the femoral <laughs> artery. Keyhole <laughs> surgery. <laughs> Surgery. Very good. <laughs> Don't be absurd. They go up through the anus. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, Stephen. They got through a meter. Yeah, like your mate through the tiny cracks. <laughs> yeah. I've got a job for you, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, now yeah. I've got a question about farts. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> do you think that farts smell before they come out? <laughs> Going in to find out. <laughs> you wouldn't have to hold your nose, is what I'm saying. He'd be free to use both hands. <laughs> if yeah. you were to have a colonoscopy, they, they, yes. you know, 24 hours before, you have to take these unbelievably powerful um... hallucinogenics. <laughs> <laughs> Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't even touch it. <laughs> How does it always end up like this what on QR? <laughs> Have you never had the disaster? What do you mean? Oh no! The... I was having a poo one morning and turned round and it was bright red. <gasps> and I just thought, well, that's it. That's arse cancer. Arse. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, fair enough, you know. I've had a bit of an arse. I've had a great life. And so this went on for several days, and each morning. <laughs> bright red. Yeah. <laughs> Beetroot. <laughs> yeah. Beetroot. You shouldn't put them there. there. But I had the relief. <laughs> I had a very similar experience. Mm. Phoned <laughs> the doctor, they go, oh, we better bring a sample in. So I got a sample in a jar and <laughs> went in the doctor's, obviously keeping it out of sight. It went up to the desk and, uh, and they said, uh, and they, uh, name, uh, and Bailey, and like that. And they said, what's it for? And I went, it's an, it's an ab abnormal bowel movement. Like that. <laughs> went, oh, what's the initial for? I went, oh, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pushing on. <laughs> name a cobra beginning with K. King. Hi. A king cobra isn't actually a cobra. Yep. It has its own genus, so it's actually a snake-eating snake. A snake-eating snake, snake, snake. Which is what a king cobra is. Yes, it, it is. Other uh, snake. The true cobras belong to the genus Nadja, and that includes the Coothia and the Catiensis. Well, maybe you can make up for your lack of uh, points by making the noise that a king cobra makes. They're oh, silent. I'm just going to get klaxon again, aren't I? It doesn't, doesn't make a noise. noise you make. It, it does, does make... make a noise. It makes a very distinct noise. Does it Hello! say... Hello! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So oh. just imitate a king cobra if you can. Alan, Alan, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Does it bark? It... Oh, you did the hiss. What do you mean it barks? It, it barks, barks like a dog. Like a dog. Who does the research for this? It do you want to hear it? <laughs> no. It there you go. That, could, that, that was a hissy no bark. Just... Yeah. It's a, it feels Good like boy. if we played that a few times, it would sound like the TARDIS. Should we just... OK, keep going. See if we can play... <laughs> 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 King Cobras travel through space and time.
Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't know that. So, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, what else is interesting about king cobras? They have more venom than any other snake, but it's not yeah. as venomous, but they just have more of they it. They've got more of it, and they, they so, envenomate more often. They envenomate a lot. And they chase you. Yeah. 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 You can kill 20 men with one bite, uh, or one elephant. One bite can kill 20 men? Yeah. Yes. I mean, obviously, it's... <laughs> Wow. You're not going to men who are linked unless you've been watching Human Centipede or something. Whoa, we're going there. Oh, dear. Why are we just always in this region? It's so unfortunate. Why might a Frenchman want this up his bottom? Because the French love shoving things up their bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Is it to get tapeworms? No, I it is a surgical question. instrument, and it was oh. devised for one particular Louis XIV, the, 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 the Sun King. Yeah. Yeah. Was he constipated often? It was worse than that. Fecal concrete in. It's, 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 <laughs> in the fecal area. it's when a duct appears between two organs and connects them that they shouldn't be connected. It causes great pain. And no. It's called fistula. 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 Yeah. So they're very good, this horse. Anyway, Louis XIV had a oh. terrible fistula, and his doctor. Oh! oh. 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 That's, oh. that's the that. dilator. We still haven't got to why you'd want to put a cobra up his bottom. Well, that was in order to pierce and slice the fistula so that it healed. What? Yeah, and it worked. Suddenly, having a fistula was the thing at Versailles. Oh. So he had this huge order book, basically. What is the, the instrument on the left, then? What is that called? Does that, it have a name? I don't know if it actually has a name. I guess it's a, a fistula. It's called a... <laughs> <laughs> a fistula. <laughs> It's, it's now used as a toothpick, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moving on. What has 20 legs, five heads, and can't reach its own nuts? <laughs> Westlife. Uh... <laughs> You're so lucky, because I, I know, I know what the klaxon was. <laughs> I presume the klaxon, shall I? Yeah, go on. One Direction? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a gypsy band, but it's the Squirrel Kings. Squirrel Kings? What would Squirrel Kings be? Then the baby squirrels get their tails in the sticky sap. Their the tails get stuck together, and you can get this, but they're absolutely oh, no. stuck together. Oh, that's fucking hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> but, but eventually, I'm afraid, they will perish. Oh, if you saw the damage, squirrels they do. do. It is in Germany. There are examples of huge rat kings where rats have been shoved together and preserved in alcohol. That's a vast mm. one. Oh. They die in their own frozen urine. Ah. Ooh. Sexy. So thank you for that fact. Ah. <laughs> are they lime trees that cause this? I want to know specifically. Is it a lime tree? <laughs> what about glue? <laughs> Clots yeah, glue. <laughs> glue? You can't. It will only glue... <laughs> your fingers together. It will only... And also, have you ever spilled any on your inner thigh? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Yeah. How do the tails In the rat's case, together? I don't know. They may just have got Lock tangled rats, and no, they I'm stuck. more interested in squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not going to be the one who teaches you to murder squirrels? <laughs> they must it's be not one murdering. It's pest control for the sake of Britain's woodland. Oh, they're baby squirrels. Yes, they're babies. Oh, that's a bit sad. Oh, that's a bit sad. Now, how could King's Cross Station possibly be improved? They've got Transport. the Harry Potter platform there, haven't they? They do indeed have the Harry Potter. Well, they Potter. should just let the kids go for it, I think. If that's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have to have a proper run. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> In 1931. Runway? Yes. It was to have an inner airport for London. No on the way. Roof what of land? King's Cross. And look at that design. What? That's what? That's so brilliant, apart from whoever's in the middle where there's going to be some traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, way. that's yeah. a device for gluing squirrels' tails together, so... Quite <laughs> <laughs> well, difficult to land on a kind of a bend, though, isn't it? Like yeah. That. I think you use the straight bits. <laughs> <laughs> this is tricky! <laughs> <laughs> now, why do more than 300 people need to die before you finally get a Burger King? What? Oh, is there a... Uh... Is this King Ralph? Well, it's like King Ralph. Yeah. yeah. People need to die for this burger to be... Someone who's to get 300th a burger king. in line. Wesley Burger from Oregon uh. is 305th in line to the throne. <laughs> so in 304 people are killed, and we, between us, can do it. <laughs> <laughs> if, the, if the roof fell in, heaven forfend, at the royal wedding, yes. you sort of think, well, who would be next? It'd be fair if she wasn't is, invited. You're right. That's a designated survivor UK version. So, if in 1901, when Queen Victoria died, the law we've now introduced stood, who would have become monarch in 1901? 
Well, I couldn't care or less, I've just remembered. I think you could. <laughs> Is uh, it Hitler? No, it would have oh, been. No. <laughs> Victoria, her first daughter was Vicky, and, and her son was Kaiser William. Oh. So, had we had that law, Kaiser William would have been our king. I would not be speaking German. I wouldn't have picked it up by now. I'd still be working through my GCSE. <laughs> <laughs> that is genuinely fascinating. Wow. Yeah. And if somebody had actually got him a horse... Uh, yes. Um... <laughs> for my kingdom for a horse. It was a one-time offer and no-one went, somebody with go and have my horse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> <laughs> no monarch on the British throne has ever been descended from Charles II. But if Prince William becomes king, he will be the first British monarch. Descended. Diana was not just descended from Charles II, she was descended four times in four different ways from Charles II. Four different ways? Yeah. <laughs> a little mixing going on there. Now, what kind of sick person wants to be touched by a member of the royal family? Quite fancy Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Is Pippa Middleton Lady. royal? No. She's not even a weather girl. Um, <laughs> Ill people for hundreds of years would be killed. Would be, sorry. Yeah. Ill people. <laughs> would be killed to me. Ill people for hundreds of years would be God cured God. by kings of England or indeed France. They wouldn't really be though. No, but yeah. it was thought that they were. You know, but the confessor certainly was probably amongst the first to do it. Would touch people and give them a gold coin as well. King's evil. George the uh, first. He stopped it because it was too Catholic. What, the TB? No. <laughs> now, some cultures have a culture against touching royal. In the 1880s, a Siamese princess drowned because nobody was able to touch her. Seems like a poorly designed rule. King Menelik, <laughs> like Yoda. Um, he, he liked to cure himself by eating pages of the Bible. Did he? Yes. Oh, and he died. Idiot. He died. Of paper <laughs> yeah, poisoning. Choked to death. Choking on the, the Book of Kings. <laughs> <laughs> Um, most of the kingfishers of the world live near what? Water. water. No, they don't. Not near water at all. Oh, why are they called kingfishers? Because that's a British word for them. Because we, in Britain, see them by the river. Well, there, there it is, fishing. It's Brit in Britain. <laughs> I mean, the evidence in is there Britain. behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen them in India and they were in the middle of a river. What is the colour of that kingfisher? Oh, it's so turquoisey, really, yeah. isn't it? It's turquoise. brown. This oh, program's getting more and more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> is this like the, fact, the, the dress the optical brown, illusion? But it iridesces. In. Oh. Are you saying that the colour it is isn't no. the colour that it appears to well, be? The colour that, no, because all colour is perception. Just about a wavelength of but the But that's kind of what out. I meant by colour. Yeah. But, that's but a the, bluey colour, that colour. <laughs> in terms of its actual pigmentation. Right up close. Right up close, rather than the way it is presenting with the light striking it. Oh, right, so if the... I examine it without any light? No. <laughs> yes. oh, you do this on the show, you go, well, that, that brown thing is a blue thing, that I blue know, thing's brown thing. I know, I know. In right. the same way that petrol is not rainbow-coloured, but you put it on water in a puddle, and it seems to be. Nobody knows what colour petrol well, is. Well, quite, exactly. Because it yeah, goes into your car and see it. Yeah, that's right. They used to <laughs> need for Yeah, red diesel. The yeah, which you're not allowed to put in your yeah. car, and I don't. No. Quite right. Evading <laughs> <laughs> tax, Jeremy, it's a slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of colours, oh, ah, I like to excite Green, you. yellow and red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is blue curacao, which is a sort of liqueur. Yeah. And lemonade. Mm. And this is pomegranate juice. Are we it's making cocktails? There we are. And it will go okay. into a horrible sort of colour. Now, this is, is quite it? difficult, by the way, to catch on camera. Or Do indeed to the naked eye. Oh, no, you hold it up to the light. <laughs> reddish. It's got reddish. Reddish. Yours That's is? Blue. 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 Glass. Because of the shape of the glass. It's okay. simply okay. that. It's the width of the glass. So I work with James May. I know these things. <laughs> <laughs> I miss James May. Oh, oh it's sweet enough. Oh, oh, no. It's quite sweet. It's quite That's cool. I like that. Camera here. Oh. You're the best science teacher we've oh. ever had. <laughs> <laughs> More drinks, please. Easy How many piece. King Henrys of England have there been? Eight. This is going to be the wrong answer. Say it. Eight! No! <laughs> <laughs> Young King Henry was anointed king while Henry II, his father, was still alive. And so he wasn't given a regnal number of three, but he was king. And he was quite an amusing fellow. He was very popular. Uh, he quite died young, but when he was 17, he held a feast in Normandy in which he invited only knights whose names were William. 
I can't remember everyone's name. I feel I just, so impolite. I just, yeah. I just want Williams, and Williams. then he just arrived and went, hello, William. Yeah. Bill, Bill. 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 You haven't bought the name, like the Beefsteak Club in London, where all the staff are called Charles, whatever their names are. Is Wait. this a real place? Is this is a real place called the Beefsteak Club. <laughs> You're a member of that, aren't I am. you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course he is. The Beefsteak Club. The staff from there are probably watching this going, oh, it's that Stephen Fry. He thinks everyone's called Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, name the Queen's official residence. Ugh. Uh, not oh, Buckingham oh, Palace. Not Balmoral. Ah! No. <laughs> OK. Uh, 2A, uh, Pall Mall. Uh, <laughs> Buckingham Palace. <laughs> um, I meant with the castle. It's not a castle. A submarine is sink. The Jeremy Claxon. Sandringham. <laughs> Sandringham. <laughs> 3A, yes, 3A. <laughs> uh, uh, Centre Park, sorry, I don't know. Uh... You present your credentials to Jackson. St James's Palace. Is that. Uh, that is the is right it? answer. Okay. My next experiment also involves me having, for health and safety reasons, to wear these. Wow. Oh. Carol Bunga, dude, you look awesome. I can tell from that sample you've had asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be eruptive, I'm guessing. Dude, does anyone know what H2O2 is? Water, yeah, it's water. Hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, double water. They're a good audience. Hydrogen peroxide. Well, that's peroxide. partly because three quarters of the women have got blonde hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. could you go and stand next to Bill? Because it's not really violent, but it's kind of. What? What? Why? Let's it, just what, say. Hang on, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jimmy's fine where he is, though. Second, Stephen, you don't seem much concerned second. with my safety. <laughs> You can stand next to Jeremy, that's a good point. I, it's that much that's scenario. Like, See, it's not going to be that to be dangerous. dangerous. It isn't yeah. dangerous. It isn't, it might be dangerous. It isn't it dangerous. Isn't. Just hold me. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't sit on my knee. <laughs> Count me down from three. Sure. Three. three. Or oh, what comes next? Two. One. One. Oh. Nice. <laughs> oh, very good. That's quite a money shot. <laughs> It's still going. Well, that's, that's amazing. Magnificent. <laughs> wow, it's not stopping. It's a lot of horrible yellow at the edges, though, isn't it? Yeah, it does get like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last place with minus 38 points, it's Jeremy Claxon. Jeremy Claxon. Second equal with minus 19, Bill and Jimmy. No. <laughs> that can't be right. Runaway winner with minus. 18, Alan Davis. Oh, by one. <laughs> Bravo, Alan. An unquestionably knowledgeable audience takes the ultimate palm with plus eight. Well done, audience. Good night. Clarkson's a buffoon, but he's such a funny buffoon. I know he's a very divisive personality in the UK, but yeah, he's great. Um, but I was oh, I was always a James May fan. That says a lot about me, I understand. Um, I miss James May. Why doesn't he go on QI? I feel like he'd be perfect for QI. But, like, zero complaints. Bill Bailey, Jimmy Carr, Jeremy Claxon, Alan Wins, lots of fart jokes. Quite a cool experiment at the very end there. Like, surprisingly productive. <laughs> Yeah, just a ton of fun. Love this show. Thank you guys so much for recommending it to me. I'm working my way through all your recommendations, but I'd love to hear more. So by all means, let me know what episodes you'd love to see me react to in the comments below. And I will eventually get to them, I promise. And uh, until next time, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.